Hey everyone, in the news this week. In the Ukraine war, there seems to have finally been a bit of action with Russia losing a lot of land this time. Uh, it's quite astonishing actually how many years this conflict's been going on for, although it does make a lot more sense when you think of it as two drunks outside a pub slinging at each other. I did also find it uplifting to hear that President Macron wants to send French troops to the conflict. You know, someone's got to surrender after all. But you also have to wonder the motives about what news we're actually being allowed to read in any of this. You know, the Ukraine war is a great example of it, where literally all we've got is the propaganda from both sides. You have to really kind of figure out the truth yourself. It reminds me of years ago when the Sunday Sport ran that article about a double-decker bus being found on the moon. Undoubtedly, if the story was told by the Daily Mail, they would have added a paragraph about the bus being 20 minutes late. And if the Guardian had done it, it would have blamed a Conservative government for wasting money on a space programme rather than schools. And so anyway, on that topic of censorship, last week a mum and her daughter were stabbed at Leicester Square. The authorities have been very keen to hush any discussion of the man's ethnicity or the like, or to upload videos of the Romanian who murdered the 11-year-old in broad daylight to social media or the like. In other death-related news, there were some people finally arrested in relation to Matthew Perry's death earlier in the year. You, know, you think you know who your friends are. Also, of America, YouTube's former CEO Susan Wojcicki died at the age of 56. I'm imagining some people trying to give her emergency CPR, but then they go to look up a video on YouTube about how to do it, and there's a minute-long advert for VPNs or Squarespace, so they're too late. You know, I'm not normally one to celebrate the loss of someone, but this is a woman who thought that the purpose of YouTube and Google was to re-educate the masses and help to elect in a neo-feudalist society organizer and social credit scores, mandatory annual vaccines, and absolute obedience, so she will not be missed. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe.